Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Lawrence Plays Factorio, Angel Bobs. So this is actually a, f a first for me. I'm recording two episodes in the same day because I um, went back and had a bit of a poke around in the in the research tree to find out if there was anything I could do about my terrible, terrible performance against the aliens earlier. Um, and I found this. Um, plasma Turrets 1 apparently gets me a Plasma Turret, which costs... OK, it costs batteries to make it, so I'm going to have to have a mess around with the Sulphur. But if you look at the range there, it's got a range of 60, which is amazing. And that's going to be so, uh, far outrange the, um, the, the Worms and... Um, and all the other sort of alien menaces out there. So if I start off with this, then, or no, if I if I produce this, then I can have the wall of turrets as I did before. So start that researching while I talk about this. Then I can have my wall of turrets like this, um, providing some sort of backup protection. So anything that runs away will run will immediately run into it. Sorry, anything that runs into attack will, will get cut down by that. But then have a few plasma turrets scattered in here that will have the range to take on the base up here. Um, so I think that should should do what, I'm, what I need here. So while that's researching, I'm going to look into making batteries. So let's, let's check that. In fact, let's, let's make sure I haven't made some sort of stupid mistakes. Plasma turret one takes alien artifacts, and I've got those. Those are all those um, weird purple things I've been picking up, so I can actually finally start using those. Uh, then we need the basic electronics boards, which is easy. We need steel plates, but we also need the batteries. The batteries are plastic, lead, and sulfuric acid. So I'm going to need to start making sulfuric acid. My biggest concern here, if I'm being honest, is that I'm not producing enough sulfur for all of this. So that might be my limiting factor. I don't know. So let's... Do I have a car? I don't have a car. I must have got that blown up again. Uh, let's go and grab a car, head over to the, um, the petrochem area, and see if I can make some sulfuric acid up. What I do from there... I don't really know. I don't know whether I want to then... Um, I don't know if I want to then try and bring the sulfuric acid over to the main bus, or if I want to try and bring the um, the plastic, uh, plastic as well. I could, for now, what did I say I needed? It was lead and plastic, so and sulfuric. So the plastic and the sulfuric are coming from over there, but the lead comes from over here. So let's grab some lead and take that over with me, so at least I can make a few batteries, and then hopefully I'll... I'll build enough to create a bit more space. These are lead, aren't they? Yes. Uh, I'll be able to create a bit more space, get some stuff under control and, and building happily. And then I think what I'm going to end up with is a lot more of these sort of little station things dotted around down here, unloading all of the different um, components and things. Also, I see that my um, I've got a train gridlock. That should never happen. This train should not have ended up there with this blockage in place. So let's go over and sort that out as well. I mean, I know why why the problems have started. It's because I sent that um, plastic train over because I wanted to couldn't be bothered to walk. But that shouldn't have got stuck there. There should be signals. In fact, it shouldn't have got into into the inner this far without if it wasn't able to get out again. Um, however, obviously, I've not put in enough signals somewhere. Ah, oh, I see. It's because I haven't signalled this junction here, and that means that everything is. All of the, the, the both these two these two lines are on the same zone, for want of a better word. I think they have a they have a term for it, but I can't remember what it is. So let's build up some signals then. Uh, what does that need? Electronics boards and iron plates. Okay, don't go in unless you can come out, and to know they can come out. <clears throat> now that's going to be a partial fix. This um, plastic train is still the problem. Um, and to be honest, it's only a problem because I messed around with it by hand. Let's get off the railway lines. Let's tell this one to nip back over to the Bobmonium pickup. Then the plastic train will zip through here, use this to turn around and go back to the plastic station. And then everything will be all hunky-dory, as long as I don't get run over by it. Right, yaks are thoroughly shaved. Let's go over and start making batteries. Okay, so here we have sulphur. <laughs> there's not much sulphur coming through, but in theory there's sulphur here. Oh, I've not got anything to build with. <laughs> okay, <laughs> plan C, or whatever letter I'm on at the moment. Um, I'm going to head back down, I'm going to drive into that. I'm going to drive into a couple of pylons, that's obviously my first plan, because it always is. Right, so I'm going to go down and get the construction crawler, and come back up here and do do this properly. Wow, <laughs> those turrets have been busy. Well, this is going to use up all of my um, iron and steel and copper and stuff, uh, making ammunition to take out these biters, but yeah. Never mind. It's um, I think it's sustainable for now. I can just leave it running like that, and then when I come back with my juicy plasma turrets, in fact, can I just take a shortcut straight up through the middle of this? I could. 
Did I probably get ganked? Let's not. Let's go around. Another thing I can set running while I'm um, building this is something that will turn the small alien artifacts, the ones you get from killing the actual biters and spitters, into the big alien artifacts that you get from taking out the bases, and I believe you then turn into plasma turrets. Right, that's finished now. Let's have, a, let's have another level of, level of steel axe as well, so I can chop things up a bit more quickly. That doesn't make a great deal of difference, but it means when I'm demolishing buildings or chopping down trees or anything like that, it, it, it's a bit quicker. And yeah, I know I, in theory, shouldn't be doing that manually very much, but as we all know, whilst the in theory, theory and practice are the same, in practice they're not. What's that going to do? Oh, it was so badly damaged, I um, it needs more than one repair pack. <laughs> right. I need to be more careful when I'm driving, I really do. And in Factorio as well. Burp. Okay, how do I make sulfuric acid? Sulfur, di sulfur dioxide gas and put purified water. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping this was just going to be sulfur and something and it would do it relatively easily, but no, apparently I need to make sulfur dioxide. Which is... Um, oh, lead ore and oxygen. Am I doing that over here? Because this is full of lead ore and I've... Was that, was that, no, I was just making the lead ore for something else, I think. Oh, the lead ore was for lead ingots for other nonsense down here, I remember. It's because I was... Yeah, wherever it was. Okay. Can't even find it. Where was it? Here we go. So, oh, what's the best way to do this? I guess I have a... Pro if I could, I could set up a processing plant here somewhere that does this task. Takes the lead ore from here and the oxygen probably from... I'll probably nix the oxygen from the steel refinery over here because I don't think I'm going to need enormous amounts of it. Not compared to steel, anyway. So I'll um, push that out over here. I'm still going to have to stockpile the... whatever the green stuff is, nickel, I suspect, into, into this warehouse. Um, but I can turn the lead ore into sulfur dioxide. I don't have purified water up here. I have all this purified water down here now. Um, down down here now. It's a tank full basically because it's getting. It's only it's got up to twenty thousand because it's getting washed away in the clarifier. <sighs> what a waste. But they're too far apart to do anything useful with. Am I making purified water over here anywhere? No, I don't think I am. Um, I don't know. Is it, worth, is it worth bringing it in by train? Is it worth bringing the sulfur dioxide out by train? Maybe I should have another gases and stuff bus over here. Do, in fact, yeah, let's do that. If I build another sort of gas bus over here, or gas and liquid bus perhaps over here, I can put in the um, the purified water and the, and the sulfur dioxide. Yeah, that seems like a reasonable plan. I've got water here that I can bring into it as well, which should probably be useful. I don't know if the mineralised water is any use to anything. I've got lots of that sort of stuff over here as well. It's saline, not mineralised. This seems to be fairly self-contained. I'll leave that alone. Seems to be getting... Am I just endlessly processing the same mud round and round here? I think I am. That's ridiculous. I'm just basically pulling and throwing away, throwing saline water away. Um, That's dumb. I'm not using this mud for anything. So there's no point in having it running round and round here. Let's go and te pull this clarifier out on the way past. Um, and put a sticker tank on there just in case. And then over here... You... Then over here... Yes, yeah, so over here I'll start up that liquid bus and see how it goes. I'll probably end up hopping over this railway line and just going down here. But never mind, I can have a railway line in the middle of my bus if necessary. Right, so that sulphur was a complete red herring. For self... Turns out for sulfuric acid you don't actually need sulphur. That seems crazy. I thought... I'm sure I remember from before that there was a way to turn sulfuric wastewater into back into sulfuric acid. Maybe not. I must be mis I must be thinking of something else. Well after that spectacular red herring, let's trundle back over to the main main base area. Is there another worthwhile research? I did wonder if I should just go in and start picking up all of these early researches just so that they're done when I need them. Um things like that. What do I need for this one? Okay. Let's have some better assembly machines for example. Or do I want gates or do I want better tanks and uh, better fluid tanks that didn't they did Uh or geode processing. I don't know. I don't know what I need for these things. I think the way I've been working so far is I've been working sort of backwards on things. So I've been going, okay, I need to make Invar, for example, or I need to make batteries, so I need to make sulfuric acid, so I need to make this and that, and doing the research more or less <clears throat> more or less on demand rather than up front and having everything done and ready. And I don't know if that's better or worse. It, I guess it probably saves on the amount of resources I plug into my um, into science packs. But is it a good thing to save on those resources? I, I don't really know. Oh, I didn't make a purified water station. Uh, I wish I had a memory. 
I'll go down and get the purified water in a minute. <laughs> More water being pumped across there. That's fine. I don't, it doesn't matter if it comes onto the bus in two places. Right, so one of the problems I have at the moment is a sort of a, a lack of foresight problem. And what I've done, so what I've done here is built this station in the wrong place. Um, in fact, and I built these rails too close together as well. What, they sh what it should have is they should all be like this, and then I shouldn't need this extra little loop here. Um, I could fix that, I suppose. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to move the uh, Rubite um, station and crushing and so on in facility because I can't be bothered, basically. But I could... If I had some railway, I could bring this line straight down like this. Let's get out of there so it doesn't chug away. Right, I could build this line straight down here like this, and then again on the other side. Obviously, I'll put a underneath these in that um, on that belt so the line can go through there, and then I can have this join on like that. This one like. Just generally neaten this whole system up a bit, and perhaps put in a turning round place as well, so that I don't have that problem I had with the um, plastic train again. So that would be then just another piece like this. And of course I need to smatter a million signals through this as well. Don't go in and out. That of course has broken absolutely everything. I can fix it up with some signals like this. Not because I've run out of components for building more signals. Carry in. At least it's mine nearby. Well, there might be enough of these for me to just pick them all up as I go past. Right, let's see. Also set up a um, deconstruction planner down here to take out all of this other railway that I... Oh, no, not that one. That I don't need anymore. Or that I intend to not need fairly soon. Okay, have I seen all that properly? Yes, I think so. Oh, I don't have any cliff explosives. Where were they? Were they in my personal inventory the last time I got killed? I guess they must have been. Damn it. Well, okay. This is going to completely stall all of my uh, all of my mine trains until I, until I go and get some cliff explosives. Oh well. What? Where do they come from? <laughs> I don't know. These bots are so slow that I'm actually not sure that this is quicker than doing it manually. I suppose in theory I could be thinking about this bit down here and getting this placed like that. That looks good to me. Okay. What's that bot doing? Okay. Let's go and get those cliff explosives. Those are very lucky trees. What else can I be researching while uh, while I'm doing this? There must be some some useful stuff down here. Now, energy weapon damage sounds like a good one. That way, once I start building the plasma turrets, they will already be slightly better than they are by default. So I'll move in at not Mark II versions of them, but at least at quite, but uh, a slightly more powerful version of the normal ones. Twenty-three. It's not a huge number, but I guess. Oh, I had some somewhere. I had some. Um, sulfur that I was just going to dump into that. There it is. And it's in that machine, isn't it? There we go. Now hopefully there'll be more than 23 the next time I come around. I'm wondering if maybe one of the things I should try and research or start producing is solid fuel. It might make my vehicles a bit quicker. Because this construction vehicle is very slow. <laughs> Let's do this on foot. I don't think I'm going to get in there in the vehicle. At least... There we go. Mostly. Okay, I missed a bit. The question is, will there be a sudden flurry of trains shooting out of here as soon as that gets finished? Yeah, because that one. Have you got no path? No, you're still being unloaded. Okay. No, I'm just not using resources quickly enough then. It didn't even matter. Okay. Let's go and have a look at this lead, shall we? Let's open some space up first. Right then. So what's this got in it? <laughs> right, this has got an enormous quantity of lead in it. That's um, good, I guess. What I should be doing here is using splitters and belts and stuff to sort it all. So the... Crushed stone should be going off one way. No, it's not crushed stone, is it? It's slag, sorry. Slag should be going one way off for re-educating. Do I have any slag processing around here? No, but that's okay. It doesn't take much. Um, crushes are just over here. Yes, there we go. Let's just take ten. If I put... In fact, do you reckon one would be enough? Let's find out. So let's take the slag to the, slag to the right and bring it down here. Like that, that's horrible. I want you to crush stone, or make crush stone rather. So the next thing is the, what I think is probably nickel, which I actually don't want at the moment. So that's just going to go into the, <clears throat> into this warehouse. I think it's nickel ore. And that will leave me with the lead ore. Okay, let's give it a shot. Yep, and then, <laughs> okay, this is going to be a bit silly because that's just going to load this straight back into here. Um, but never mind, I guess. 
We'll see. We'll see how ridiculous it gets over time. Um, so, what did I want to do with the lead ore? I've forgotten. I know I wanted to make sulfur. Sulfur. I know the game can't spell sulfuric acid. Uh, did, 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 that sulfuric acid is made from sulfur dioxide, which is made from lead ore and oxygen gas in a blast furnace. Okay, so I need a blast furnace. Blast. I don't have a furnace. Circuit board and steel plates and pipes. Is that enough? Yes. Cool. Uh, let's make two of these. I don't know how many I'm going to need. What? Oh, I got that wrong. Sulfur dioxide made with lead ore and oxygen gas in a blast furnace. Oh, making... Ah, I see. I make lead ingots and it's a side effect. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, underneath underground pipes. There we go. Oh, down here. Boosh. Let's make some of these. So one near... Okay. And one near side. There we go. Now I need to get this out. <laughs> yeah, I guess we can go under there and under like that. They need fuel as well. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, mm, there we go. Yay, spaghetti. Oh, no, not the coal. Although, I mean, I suppose you can, but there we go. That's all I wanted to put in there. Right, that's that. And now we have lead to put on the belt, on the bus, <laughs> even though I don't particularly want it. <laughs> Just because I want the gas. I've got lead plates here already, but... Now I have lead ingots as well. Uh, oh, there's something funny going on here. <laughs> That's so satisfying, I can't even begin to describe it. That's less satisfying because I've run out. But um, the bus is grey belt really anyway, so it doesn't have to use these. And I've run out of those too. Eh, it'll do for now. I don't need lead down there. Um, in fact, I'm surprised there isn't any coming onto the bus at the moment. Why is there not? You don't have any ox? I've missed, I've missed a pipe out. I've had to miss two pipes out. There we go. Right, making lead. Goody. I didn't want lead. Making it anyway. I still didn't want it. What I should probably do here is stop these ones taking the um, nickel out. Uh, can I make them into filter inserters? What do I need to do that? No. No, I can't. Oh, I need bronze. What about these ones? Yeah, I can make a couple of them. Or four. Let's make two near side inserters as well. Right, okay. So this wants to be... Um, lead ore and slag and I can now pick that up and put that there uh, you get that rhubarb I just picked up right that's now running properly and won't run out in fact knowing what these things are like I'm never going to get rid of the stuff that's in the um this thing let's see <clears throat> there isn't a good an easy compact way to prioritize that unfortunately I'll make them all far side of build inserts I suppose is that copy no it copies the side settings as well um, um, let's make these far side inserters. Still not going to help though. It's <laughs> still going to. Oh. Um, forget it. <laughs> forget it. Can't bother. Can't deal with that right now. Right. Okay. Actually, let's just start this here. There was water around here somewhere, wasn't there? So it's up here. Water can be on. Oh, I need more underground pipes. More of them. Water can be here. That purified water is probably going to have to come in by train, which is a bit of a shame because that takes up a lot of space. In fact, I worry that a lot of my space on my liquid bus here is going to get taken up by railway stations. I suppose I'll put one in over. Train stations are a bit smaller than um, uh, ore stations, though, so it's not going to be quite so bad. Let's see. Yeah, let's get that set up. So train. Oh, the train's going to come up this line um, to about here, come off like that. What's the best way to do this? I do that, and then this feels messy. But I could do that. And then each train that needs a station could have one like that and then drop back onto the line. How big does the station need to be? I don't have the resources. That's scary. I'm building lead incredibly quickly, uh, lead ingots incredibly quickly. It's basically, it's filled up most of the bus I've laid, laid down and it's presumably just filled up the pipe I've put down as well. I don't know if I'm going to be using lead fast enough to get to, to produce enough sulfur dioxide. Okay, it comes from, from making zinc as well. Oh! <laughs> sulfur and oxygen also will make sulfur dioxide. Why did I not find that before? What's wrong with me? That was what I wanted to build at the other side, the other, over by the other station. <sighs> I don't know. I just don't know. Well, I've made lead ingots anyway. That's got to be useful, right? Okay, let's head over and mix the sulfur and some oxygen. I suppose I could continue this oxygen pipe and have an oxygen supply on that gas bus. No! 
that one. I need more oxygen in a train, but that seems like a waste of effort. Okay, let's go and do this the sensible way, rather than building up all this nonsense over here. I don't know how I missed that, I really, really don't. Alright, so I need more circuits. Uh, specifically electronic circuits, not basic circuits. So, I'm going to do this with oxygen. Now, make oxygen using air compressor, I think it's called? Air filter. And then one of those chemical factory, chemical plant. Was it a, what sort of ratio was it? I was doing it quite neatly up here. Five to three, okay. And then from there, let's let's not rush off before I've got everything I need. So that's gonna make me my sulfur dioxide in a chemi chemical plant, good. Sulfur dioxide gets turned into sulfuric acid with the purified water that I already have over there in another chemical plant. And then that gets turned into batteries in another chemical plant. Right, okay. And I need to take some lead with me for that. It was, it was definitely lead plates, wasn't it? Not lead ingots. I mean, I have both now, but, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, lead plates, plastic bar, and sulfuric acid. Did I pick up some lead? I did, I've got 80 of them. Let's take it up to a nice round 100 or so. Right. Have I picked up landfill? That was something I wanted to have lots of. No, I haven't. That's, oh, that's miles up with my car. Oh, the car stopped taking damage from hitting cliffs as well. Hmm, I'm sure it used to. Okay, that's just all of it. It's neatly in my inventory. <laughs> okay, what shall I research next? Is there anything useful in here? Let's get vehicle batteries, because I might get some vehicle weapons at some point, and I don't know how good they're going to, how much they're going to pull power straight from the vehicle's back, uh, power supplies, and whether they can charge up themselves internally, and so on and so on. Ooh, train. Fortunately, it's on that side. I very nearly got a train to the side of the car. That would have been very upsetting, because the amount of stuff I've got in this vehicle. <laughs> if I got all that destroyed, it'd be, yeah, really rather annoying. Right, let's see. So what I want to do first, I want to copy that oxygen plant from here and put it over here somewhere. Let's put it out, yeah, let's put it there because that's kind of out of the way. You're going to need those and those. Okay, so that's the oxygen, sulfur and oxygen in a chemical plant. Put them all in here. Let's do it a bit further up, like, mm, yeah, there. All <laughs> that's pretty bad, let's not do that. <laughs> let's at least bring it down the square. I should probably put this onto my stuff onto my bus here as well could be yeah just above the liquid plastic because oxygen is something that's bound to be useful oh no there's water there that's something else there's already something at this height and at that height there we go pipe 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 pipe, pipe. right um also there and you're going to make sulfur dioxide always always running out of something Bonk. okay and then what's the next step so sulfur dioxide Turns into sulfuric acid with purified water. One's purified water. Is it you? You're, yes, you're purified water. Why did I put it on my liquid bus? I didn't. I just whacked it straight up there. Oh no, I'll take it back. This one's purified water. This is some horrific pipe spaghetti, even by my standard. Okay, so now we've got sulfuric acid. I need to then make that into batteries, which is done in another chemical plant with lead plates and plastic bar. Let's not do anything too clever here. Because I can't be bothered. I'm just going to put some lead and some plastic in the box. <laughs> and the batteries will appear in this box, hopefully. Why are you not making something very fissile off the video paper? No oxygen. Why is there no oxygen? None of this has got pa power. Okay, that's merrily making that. That's not got the. It's always the corners I forget. <laughs> Good. Hooray! Batteries. Mm, nice. Um, yeah, sure, let's check one of them in. Right, I now want, no, plasma, um, no, let's have a look in here, because it might be a weird machine that makes it. Plasma turrets, Mark 1, made in a construction machine, excellent. Batteries, electronic port, 80, jeez. Okay, construction machines I have, they're just in here. Do, 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 do. No, not those ones. So I thought I had them. For goodness sake, don't tell me I don't have any construction machines with me. Uh, I don't have any assembly, why, why do I not have assembly machines? What, what did I do with my assembly machines? I mean, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, there they are. <laughs> Take it all back. So that can go there, that can go there. That takes. Um, I want to build alien artifacts, which come out of small alien artifacts. And I want to build plasma turrets here. And you know what? Let's put them back into that box just for the hell of it. Um, <laughs> so this one, I know I've got lots of these. Go in that. In fact, I've probably got some of the big ones as well. Yeah, there's 50 big ones. Have that. What else are you missing? Okay, you need a load of them, you need a load of that. So now it's just down to waiting for the batteries to get built. Okay, this is kind of exciting now. I feel like it's um, 
making some useful progress. Also, I'm kind of chuffed to have found something to do with those um, purple balls, which have a, a bit of a weird, have a face in them as well, which is even more creepy. I should probably put this nitrogen on the bus as well. Um, I'll do that when I first need some, I think, because at the moment it's a bit superfluous. While I'm waiting, I'm going to do a bit of clearing up here. It's impressive how good the cliff explosives are at targeting cliffs and nothing else. Why is this stopped? Grenades. I haven't got any grenades. I've stopped carrying them around with me. Um, do I have iron? Do we even have iron? I do have iron, and we've got coal, so I can make some more. Mmm, delicious spaghetti. Uh, we need to make grenades, and I'm going to give you some iron to do it with. There we go. What are we waiting for? I've run out of lead. Oh, for goodness sake. I thought I'd brought enough of that over. <sighs> Clearly not. Let's go get some more lead. I suppose I'm, I'm, I'm kind of underestimating how expensive some of these... I'm not going to say late game, because I know I'm nowhere near the late game yet, but slightly later game <laughs> techs are in, in, in terms of resources. I thought, yeah, make, taking over 100, just over 100 lead, that's going to be plenty. How much can it need, really? Turns out a lot more than 100. I can't remember what the green stuff is, but I don't think I want any of it at the moment. There we go. What was it anyway? Nickel? Tin. Okay, tin's kind of useful, I think. Not so I'm using it yet, but in theory, tin is kind of useful. Actually, while I'm over here, let's get some more sniper turrets as well. I don't think the plasma turrets will be... I'm expecting the plasma turrets to not do a particularly large amount of damage. So they're going to be great as for picking, for doing sort of... For attacking things that are too far away, that have longer... That's basically things that outrange me excessively. But not so great for normal defence. I mean, I might be completely wrong. They might be amazing, just amazing all-round weapons, but... I suspect they're probably not going to be. Plastic's running out as well. Let's get some more of that. Now, I took a stack from the first carriage last time, so let's take it from the second one this time. Can't see. I did two. How are we doing? 15 batteries out of the what? 48. Goodness. Oh, is it already made? Oh, it's made one. Cool. What do these look like anyway? Do they just look like the normal laser turrets? Find out. The icon does. I've lost it. There it is. Okay, they look like giant laser turrets <laughs> with a green base. <laughs> nice. Uh, I suppose I better give you some more circuits. There we go. 40, that's probably enough. So I'm going to take two of these with me um, and then go down bottom way and see what I can do with them. And try and put them far enough out of reach so they don't get destroyed. She says damage 500. That's a lot of damage. Please don't tell me about damage. Oh, probably because it depends on the ammunition. Damage to... Okay, these are going to be one-shotting absolutely everything. That's awesome. I mean, they're kind of slow to build, but when you only need, like, two... <laughs> Do, 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 do. There we go. All right, let's go and make those biters sorry. If this works as well as I'm expecting and hoping it to, it's going to be a complete game changer for my um, combat mechanics. Um, do I have pilot? I don't have pilot power down here. They're not going to work without power. <laughs> What's the line from Back to the Future? You bojo, that needs power. And yes, the line was actually bojo. He didn't call him a bozo. Got a bojo, which as we all know is far, far worse. Oh. Ah! Pfft. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> oh, those bots can catch me up somewhere else. Oh, no, don't go out repairing things that don't want repairing or replacing or uh, any of this. Just don't. No! For goodness sake, I said stop it. Ah, oh, stupid bots. Right. Ow. Okay, how big are these turrets? Oh, no, they're not that much bigger than a normal turret. Okay, I'll just whack it in the line there. Get some power. See what sort of range it's got. Oh, that's interesting. Ow. I was not expecting an area of effect weapon like that. Still, that's... Yeah. Awesome. It's a very, very specific amount of um, area that it attacks, I notice. And if, if anything gets too close to it, it's going to be useless. But at its sweet spot range, it's absolutely phenomenal. Let's put in another one over here. Zip. Oof. There we go. So that no, it's not quite dead. It's not quite destroyed the base, but it's not far off. <laughs> okay, so they definitely can't defend on their own because they've got that spot where if the enemy gets close, then they're completely screwed because they can't shoot nearby. But what about this? They're yeah, they're lethal. I approve. These. Just wish it hadn't taken me so again. Another thing I wish it hadn't taken me quite that long to discover. Ah, it's quite a lot of them. What? Oh. My plasma turret got me. Right. Oh, goodness sake. <laughs> I guess they're a little bit too lethal. I was, to be honest, I have to admit, I was not expecting to get caught in my own splash damage with those. Oh, I'm glad I'm not playing on um, hardcore. 
number of times I've died. It'd be frankly ridiculous. Oh yeah, pistol shame in the box. Where's the box? There's the box. How many have I got in there now? There's only three pistols. Oh no, five. Five more down there. Eight. Eight pistols of shame so far. <laughs> yeah. is, is that the total? Is, is that how many times I've died? I thought it was more than three, but oh, I don't know. Uh, more than eight. I don't know. I'm now hoping those having those um, plasma turrets is going to lead to a lot fewer deaths because at long last I actually have better range than the, the most of the biterate creatures so I can do my sort of turret creep Ooh, the previous episode's finished rendering no, I said previous, number 28 um, yeah, I, now I have those plasma turrets I'm finally, I finally got longer range than the biters with my turrets so I can um, deal with them from a safe distance let's nip out and grab this these opal fruits colourful Jubbly things. Nom, 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 nom. Just while I'm here, there's some more over there as well. It's kind of satisfying that I've finally found a use for them as well. After all that time going, yeah, I might as well pick these things up because I feel like I've earned them and just stick them into cold storage and not do a lot with them. But no, now I've actually got a use for them. Why am I not picking those up? Oh, I can do it from further away. I don't actually have to go up to them. Uh, it's difficult. Where's the. Where is a gap. Oh, that's not. Well, I mean, it is a gap. Yeah, there we go. That made sense in my head, I promise. How are we doing over here? Okay, let's turret creep. Zzz, boom! One more. There we go. Boom. Let's pick that up before it gets accidentally destroyed because it's too close to the enemies and I don't know, out of range of the bullet turrets or something. Okay, excellent. Now, the next thing. Oh, where's my corpse? Put those up as well. Where did I. I was up here somewhere. Um. Yeah, I was up here somewhere. <laughs> Bugger. Anyone see a dead engineer? You've got the faces on them on the floor as well. It's not surprising, it's probably the same icon. Um, never mind. Okay, I don't need that plasma turret there anymore. Or that, or that. So how about I put one of these there, and I'll add that to the um, to the blueprint. So my blueprint in total is now that. I'll just have to come back when all the corpses have gone. Oh, frustratingly, all of my um, cliff explosives are in my corpse. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, I'll, have to come, I'll, I'll definitely have to come back for it then in that case. Oh, and I think all the big um, electric poles are in there, are in it as well. Grumble, grumble, grumble. And I can't set up a plasma turret without big electrical poles. Let's, have, let's find out about inserter configuration options. Might as well. Maybe I should be putting in one of those plasma turrets with each of these electrical poles as well. I don't have enough of them at the moment, but in the future. I suppose it depends on what sort of a size attacks I'm expecting. The, um, the gun turrets seem to be adequate for normal levels of attacks. Sure, let's find out about paper as well. Um, the gun turrets are fine for a normal attack as it comes in, but the uh, plasma turrets were great for, for that extra bit of range I needed in order to deal with the um, the bases. Like this one, and that one as well, of course. And, 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 um, and. Hmm. But then obviously they need to have some turrets around them to protect them, because I'm not going to leave them on their own, because then... I suspect they're going to be, yes, Im immensely powerful, but also quite vulnerable to a, to what's basically a Zerg rush. And it must have been about here somewhere, I think. Uh, oh, there we go. Excellent. All my stuff back. Right. Oh, including all that landfill. Let's put the landfill in here. Um, and all of these. And these. And to be honest, these. Two cars now. <laughs> Price of failure. Or spoils of failure or something. Um, and off them. Drive this forwards to about probably about here. Yeah, it's bot on pretty much. And put in another well, that's more sections of wall than I can actually do. So right, and what I'm gonna do while I'm waiting for that is deal with this base up here, like this. So I want to put this turret Ooh ah enemies, no, follow me this way. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's be a bit more careful about that. You're not out of Burner inserters, are you? Am I out of burner inserters? Uh, no, there's loads of them. Give me those. Right, so, yeah, what I was thinking there before it all went a bit a bit wrong was to find the range at which I can put this turret, which I've now lost, this turret. So I want it to be about there, which means I want my other turrets to also be about there, which means I probably want to have a... <laughs> oh, yeah, boundary between the slow and the faster... Slow and the medium. Well, tier two belts. Stop flashing. Right. That might be a bit far up, actually. Let's put in a sniper turret here. That's probably going to be out of their notice range. That. And that'll give me some protection while I'm getting things set up. With one of them. I've got that. They missed that. They missed that. Okay. Ah, I don't have any repair kits. They're all in the 
this. Okay, maybe this is a better distance. Those aren't sniper turrets. Why are they not sniper turrets? Help. Ah, for goodness sake. Stop it. Just stop trying to repair things. My goodness. <laughs> right. Let's put this over here where, yeah, it's now going to stop messing around with, with everything I'm trying to do on the combat front. Um, oh, bloody hell. Now, now I've got the attention of this other... Get out of here. Run away. Okay, let's put this over here. <laughs> stop destroying my bots. I said that bots just get out of there. Goodness sake. Ooh, someone set fire to the forest. It wasn't me. I don't have any fire-based weapons. Uh, right, things calm down a bit now. Can I actually get back to what I was trying to do, please? Goodness grief. Goodness sake. Ah, right. Set up a defensive boss name here. For that. And this. With these as well. I'm going to put these in. Right. Now. Do that. Get their attention. They don't seem to quite understand where the plasma's coming from. Which is interesting. Oh. Oh. Oh crap. Right. Um. Oh, it's not too far away. I can get up there and sort things out a bit. How are we doing here? Quite well. We've got like the first half of the base. I feel I need to now make a forward firing post like this. And that's what, yeah, easily covered by these sniper turrets. In theory. There we go. It's almost at the point where the hardest part of doing this now is defending the, is defending the construction bots if they get if they try and get involved and start repairing things that they shouldn't. You, yeah, you have got the range to get those. That's the shot. That's the shot I wanted. Yeah. And that last worm? Is that done? Yeah, that's done. Oh, there's some more coming from another base there. That's okay. I don't care about that. Okay. Nice. Now, I don't need any of this anymore. So now I can come get in the uh, construction box to clear it all up. And while they're doing that, I'm going to head up north and check out what's going on with the defences up here. Because there's a gap being knocked in them there, and that's not a good thing. I do have some turrets with me, so that's fine. Oh, I can go and sort that out. And if I keep over this way a little bit, I should be fairly safe. Oh, maybe not so safe. Oh no, no, it's alright. Just steer clear of them all, it's, it's alright. Right, so over here, this is the danger area. <laughs> and part of the problem here is that there's um, yellow ammunition being pumped through. And the yellow ammunition is kind of rubbish. The other part of the problem is that these are all just basic gun turrets, which aren't enormously effective. So if we start doing this... Well, it does occur to me that I don't really need to do this, because I'll probably have taken out the uh, base that's causing these that's starting these attacks before they um, actually do anything. Okay, well that's got, um, I feel that's got combat nicely under control now. There's a few things I need to, um, I need to do, like improve my technique a little bit when I'm, for dealing with some of these things. Um, and maybe not build up the full uh, dragon's teeth thing Im immediately as soon as I get there. But I think I'm now, I've now got the basics of, uh, of combat down quite well, um, at least with the, with the longer range weapons. And so, yeah, let's, let's head back down to the, um, the business area, but I, I, I've been recording for about an hour and a half now, and apparently it's dinner time, so uh, I'm going to drive back through the gauntlet, back to my construction vehicle, see how that's getting on. It looked like it was running out of repair packs, which is, um, or had run out of repair packs, which is a bit of a concern. I'll need to, oh dear, there's that base. Okay, it's still still dismantling the, the, um, the defensive lines. Okay, well, head back over here, see how it's getting on. Maybe it's, maybe it's picking up a lot of, why is it using that for fuel? Must put it in. No one it's running slowly. Um, yeah, so it's... Um, oh, it's because there's a lot of stuff on all the belts. That's why it's so slow. Let's, let's do a bit of this manually to speed it up. <laughs> Getting the um, bots to do all of this seemed like such a good idea, but now I realise just how slow it is. Let's take that out, put that in, put this in here. Okay, well, those the bots can now uh, finish all that up again. As I say, I've... Um, yeah, that's been actually quite a good episode. It, it, there's been a bit of uh, faffing around getting the uh, turret, getting the plasma turrets up and running, I think. But it makes me feel a lot better after how badly combat was going in the previous episode. So now I've got my hands on a uh, finger on how to do this. Let's call it an episode here, and then I'll uh, finish tidying up in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.